Today we are going to learn another special type of problem on the isosceles triangular plate. Okay, now we will proceed with the question. Isosceles triangular plate of a negligible thickness has a base 25 mm long and altitude 35 mm. So they have mentioned these dimensions, base dimension 25, altitude 35. You know how to construct the isosceles. I will show you how to construct. Now, before construction, it is so placed on HP. You can see that it is telling that so it will be placed on HP such that it such that in the front view it is such that in the front view it is seen as an equilateral triangle of 25 mm side. So it is telling that uh, it will be placed on HP, but in the front view we have to get an equilateral triangle of dimension 25. So with the side that is parallel to VP, with the side that is the side which will be parallel to the VP okay so that will be inclined at angle of 45 degree to VP so we can see in this question they have mentioned only one angle of inclination that is 45 degree to VP so there is no angle of inclination to VP given instead of that they are telling that with the side that is parallel to VP is inclined at 45 degree to HP so second angle of inclination they have never not mentioned mentioned instead of it they have mentioned a second weave okay the second weave it is an equilateral of dimension 25 and it is an front weave okay and so in the front weave so we have to get an equilateral triangle so now so before going to the problem first we have to identify is it resting on the hp plane or on the vp plane so for that i'll be doing a trial get okay, in trial one what we do say this is our x y vp hp say we have constructed with the on the vp placed on the hp plane what happens say this is our uh, s as well as consider this is altitude okay top view so so this is a uh, front view okay now by inclining this uh, we'll get a here equilateral triangle we will construct it then by projecting here we get the angle but here in you can see the, this equilateral triangle we are getting in the top view okay so this is top view this is wrong because we have to get an front view okay we have to get the front view so this trial is wrong so similarly we will go for the trial 2 so, so we will try for the trial 2 you can see in this uh, we will construct here okay says so that uh, one of the corner touching the uh, it is in the vertical plane but it is uh, one of the corner it is resting on the x y line if it is resting on the x y line means it is touching on the hp also okay it is uh, placed like this you can see this uh, say consider this is horizontal plane this is vertical plane and we have placed uh, we have placed uh, like this okay like this we have placed like this equilateral triangle say so the equilateral triangle it is uh, it is in the vertical plane but one of the edges okay corner it is touching the uh, base edge it is uh, touching on the x y line x on the x y line means it is touching the x y line okay so that's how it is say this is the uh, front view then projecting uh, downward we get the top view now in this position they have not mentioned the second angle of inclination so we have to construct a triangle here okay equilateral triangle of dimension 25 okay dimension 25 we have to construct then we have to by proceeding like this by taking this length we can find we can find out this angle of inclination okay so this trial to it is correct because you can see this is equilateral triangle so we are getting in the front view okay and you can see that so both the condition we have to match so it is so placed on hp such that in the front view so we are placing an HSLS triangle in such a way that it is touching the HP plane so how it is touching this plane by placing on the x y line we are making this one of the end touching the HP so when it is inclined when it is inclined in the second position it is seen as an equilateral triangle okay so when it is inclined like this okay when it will be inclined like this we are seeing an so we are seeing, seeing an equilateral triangle of dimension 25 how it is means say like this so say consider this is our isosceles triangle we have placed like this and in second position we are in, inclining we don't know how much inclination we are inclining an equi isosceles triangle here but in the front we we get again equilateral triangle but we don't know how much angle so that angle we are going to find out okay so 
so i'm proceeding with the question so all of you carefully follow it so this condition is correct so all of you carefully follow so first i'll draw an x y line so drawing the x y line is compulsory okay B, H, B. So, so first I'm constructing isosceles triangle. First, I considered consider base here that is uh, 25. Okay. So after constructing base here 25, exactly, I will show the dimensions initially. Okay. So exactly at the middle of this, we have to consider a center point so it is exact 25 means it is 12.5 somewhere here we get okay 12.5 to this 12.5 we have to mark altitude okay altitude of 35 straight line horizontal line of dimension 35 exactly 35 we have to draw a straight line okay then after drawing 35 you join this So this is what your isosceles triangle. So we are giving the naming A dash, B dash, and C dash. Okay. So when we draw the top view of it, so we'll get it. We'll get it on this x y line only. Okay. So it is A and B will be in bracket and C. So this is what the top view. But in this uh, uh, so second position, angle of inclination to BP, they have not mentioned. Instead of that, they are telling we get an equilateral triangle of dimension 25. So I'll be drawing an equilateral triangle here. We're taking 25 dimension. Okay. So this problem is uh, a little bit different. That's why we call it as an equilateral triangle, uh, special type of problem. Okay. So we know how to construct equilateral triangle. dimension 25 so in this problem they will be not mentioning one angle instead of that they will be telling one view okay so in the in this we are getting a front view okay front view so in the front view we are getting an equilateral triangle okay so it is a dash this is b dash and this is c dash so this is a equilateral triangle but we need to find out how much inclination we get it here how much tilt we have to do this SLS, SSLS triangle such that we get a equilateral triangle here. Okay, so that I'll just uh, drawing an projection line here. Here at this point, I will take a reference point here. You have B, then measuring this length A to C, then measuring this length A to C, measuring this length A to C, then I'm going to cut the arc. Okay, so. Yeah, so so now we can find out how much angle of inclination it is so here in uh, i'm getting around uh, uh, 50 degree you have to get 52 okay 52 so i'm getting 50 degree okay so now we have done the second position you can see in this problem how it is present one two three and four First, we have drawn this second, third, and fourth. Now, fifth. You can see in this question, with the side that is parallel to EP is inclined at 45 degree. So, this is what A dash, B dash, and this is what parallel to the VP. Now, we have to incline this end, okay? We have to incline this end by an angle of 45 degree. So, how we do that? So, here, we are marking a point of B dash, okay? So, here at this point, I will be taking an angle of 45 degree. Okay. Drawing a line. Now measuring. Okay. Measuring this end. Because this is what the end A dash B dash end is. Parallel to VP. So I am going to cut the arc. So this is A dash. Now similarly with the same length we have to construct the triangle same dimension 25 okay it is already measured 25 okay now you join this okay. you 
can show the angle here it is 45 degree So now we can write the notations. So here I'm get A. And this point is B, and this point is C. So join it. Okay. So these are completed. This fifth, sixth. Actually, this problem it is proceed like this. Okay. Like this. In the arrow direction say first we constructed this second position third fourth fifth sixth in this problem they have mentioned only one angle that is angle of inclination to HP they have not mentioned the angle of inclination to VP instead of that they have mentioned one V that is equilateral triangle of dimension 25 so this is all like this okay